legislature gave the president uh, the power to reallocate funds within the budget. And uh, the primary purpose is to support the most vulnerable uh, in our communities. And we have allocated mm. a total of $6 billion for that. Uh, we are then also uh, allocating uh, $650 million to uh, the frontliners and uh, to supporting our uh, the battle against the, uh, the, the virus. And finally, together with our monetary uh, authorities, we have uh, allocated a 16.4 billion uh, million billion dollars for for uh, support of the economy. So the total value is about 23 billion dollars so far, or between five and six percent of uh, the GDP. Uh, we are also providing a lot of administrative relief such as postponement of amortizations, mm -hmm. no charging of interest on interest. And uh, we are very active now in uh, negotiations for total loans of $5.7 billion, first with uh, ADB, okay. World Bank, and AIIB, since uh, they have uh, the lowest uh, interest rates to us. After uh, filling this up, we will then most likely go to the commercial markets. So do you think you might have to raise taxes eventually to help beef up the state's coffers? Not immediately. Not immediately, but uh, certainly down the road, I think uh, maybe in uh, a year or two, uh, that might be required. You know, all this money is really has to be paid somehow, but uh, we we're not going to do that immediately. We have a lot of sources first. And as I said, uh, our uh, uh, multilateral agencies and the commercial markets can provide those funds. By the way, as I mentioned, our uh, debt to GDP is only 41%. And this is down from over about 54% 10 years ago. So we have a lot of headroom. Right now, we probably will increase this debt to uh, GDP ratio to slightly over 46%. In, in view of this crisis. Hi, I'm Emily Tan, and thanks for watching CNBC. You can check out more of our videos by clicking on the boxes on the screen, and don't forget to subscribe to the channel for more. Thanks for watching.